Good afternoon guys. Happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, we are actually going to get ready to leave for Matthew's football game. And I am sure that it is insanely dark in here. It is supposed to rain and thunderstorm. They actually had to move the game up I think an hour to try and miss at least part of the thunderstorm. But right now all day it's been like cloudy. <coughs> to top all of that off guys, Oh my gosh, I could not sleep last night. I woke up probably every hour to every like half an hour or so with a runny nose and like I kept waking up to like go blow my nose and I couldn't breathe through half the night. And then I was waking up too because oh my gosh, now that I'm actually up and I also took like, I took ibuprofen and acetaminophen today. And since I've been up, it hasn't been quite as bad, but I feel like when I was laying down, Oh my gosh, the pressure on my face, it felt like my head was a balloon, and I felt like it was just going to explode. Honestly, it was like the pressure, like my ears were like, I couldn't hardly even hear anything because of how much pressure was like on my face. So, yeah, I took, like I said, both of those, and I feel like it's a little bit better, but we're going to get ready to leave right now. And again, I'm not sure how much of the game will get played because um, they are going to... Like I said, um, they're starting early to try and miss this thunderstorm. If they get through, I think, through the half, <coughs> I think they don't have to make it up or something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly the rule. I think maybe they have to play three of the four quarters in order to um, call the complete game and they don't have to have like a makeup game or anything. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what the rule is about that. All I know is that it is supposed to thunderstorm, and we will most likely end up getting smacked with it during, probably towards the end of the game at least. Um, because again, it was supposed to, the game was supposed to be at 7 o'clock, but they called it at 6 o'clock. They're moving it up an hour. So, we're leaving right now. Like I said, I'll try and include some footage for you guys. Again, it depends on how much we end up getting. How much I actually feel like pulling my camera out because it's going to be raining, I know, and you know, everything like that. So, we'll see when we get there. You really think you're going to take it on a fourth down and they're all gone? Yeah. up losing I think the final was like 48 to 6 but like the sad thing is was like their first drive they ended up fumbling the ball and we got it back and we almost scored we were like within 50 yards or so of scoring we ended up giving the ball back they scored um and got the extra point so it was eight nothing and then we ended up scoring it was six nothing and then even like in the first quarter like we were still 
pretty much in it. I think we might have been down one touchdown or something like that. One touchdown and an extra point. Or maybe, yeah, one. T I think it was one touchdown and the extra point because they missed the extra point. And I remember thinking, okay, if we can just score again and get the extra point, like, we'll be tied. Um, and, like, at least partly into the first, the end of the first quarter, I think they might have scored again right before the end of the first. Then, by halftime, it was kind of already starting to become a little bit of a blowout. Um, and we had kids getting hurt left and right, honestly. Um, we have one kid who we're pretty sure actually ended up breaking his rib because they uh, had to take him off in the ambulance. Um, <coughs> they had to take him off in the ambulance. And then one of the um, dads who my dad's like really, really good friends with, his son ended up getting hurt, and Matthew was saying that he thinks it's a concussion. He was like, because he was just totally out of it. Um, and, like, but the way he was, like, holding himself was, we thought it could have either been his collarbone or his rib as well. Um, and so, like, because of the way he was acting, um, and, like, you know, kind of what he was doing with him, with his hands, like, he kept holding his shoulder or his, like, collarbone at one point, and then he kind of kept doing it with his ribs. And Matthew, but, I mean, if he was concussed, then it kind of makes sense, because he was just, Matthew said he was just kind of out of it. Um, so, yeah, anyways, though, but he ended up just, like, going down there to go find out what was wrong with him, and then all of a sudden just walked off and left. Um, and took him maybe to the hospital or something like that, or just took him home or something. Uh, so we don't even know, we just, he just, like, literally just, like, walked off. Um, like, he was talking, I mean, not, like, walked off, but, like, he went over and talked to the trainer or whatever. I think they told him, like, oh, you can't play or something like that, and then he just, like, left. So, um, but it was weird, though, because, like, he was... Uh, he came back at halftime because this was like right before the ha at the end of the first the end of the first half, and he was like there, and then like he came back and was sitting on the bench, and his dad was like, "Are you okay?" And he like gave him a thumbs up, like, "Yeah, he was fine" or whatever. And he's like, "Can you go back in?" And he was just like shrugging his shoulders, like he didn't know or whatever. And so like it didn't seem like totally out of character of for him to like do that, I guess, but. Um, you know, that's why, but Matthew just kept saying, like, he was totally out of it, and I don't know, too, if it was maybe because he was, like, upset or something like that, but, you know, like, he was mad that he got hurt, and that maybe it really was his collarbone or rib or something like that, and he was just mad, so he wasn't, like, really talking to anybody, um, but Matthew just said, like, oh, yeah, he was really out of it, but I kind of almost was thinking, I mean, like, it could have been the same either way, so we don't really know. And we probably won't know till tomorrow. Then, like I said, too, the one other kid ended up going off in the ambulance, actually, because it honestly, though, he was on the sidelines for, like, a heck of a long time, like, that it was only up until, like, almost the end of the game that they decided to, like, drive him off. But I guess it was a smarter idea to have them take him in the ambulance instead of, like, taking him on the bus ride home and then, like, distributing him to parents. But I think the main reason they ended up doing that actually was because he didn't have his parents weren't there. It was raining, guys, like I said, and I didn't get a whole ton of footage, but it was raining. So I think, um, you know, less people were coming, whatever. And so I think that's why since his parents weren't there, they couldn't just like let him go home on the bus or whatever. And if he did like fracture a rib or something like that, which I think was what Matthew said, it didn't, I don't know, like wasn't like a complete break. Um, Matthew was like, oh yeah, it was a fracture or something like that. At least that's what they were pretty sure it was. Obviously, they didn't have, like, x-rays on the sidelines or anything like that to actually check for it. But, um, they ended up, you know, f checking him out or whatever. And so, I think the trainer at one point, I know she was on the phone. Um, so I think she was just, like, calling the parents and being like, we're gonna just take him straight to the hospital. Because normally, if your parents are there and they're like, oh yeah, like, we think, you know, like with Matthew's thumb or whatever... Um, when he broke it last year, they were like, well, we think it's broken, you know, he has to, you know, he can't play, obviously, for the rest of the game. If Matthew was, like, in real horrible pain or whatever, like, this kid kind of seemed like he was, or, you know, like, it was a really bad, like, you know, foot break or something like that, they probably, and, like, his parents, like, we or, you know, family or whatever wasn't there to, like, take him to the, you know, hospital or something like that, they probably would have taken him off in the ambulance. So I know it seems like it sounds really scary when you say that, but if, if, his parents would have been there, most likely they would have just taken him straight to the hospital or whatever to have it checked out. Um, 
So, yeah. But anyways, Matthew played on offense and defense today, guys. Normally, he just plays defense, but he did play on offense for a little bit. And I know I got, I think, one of the plays where he was playing as a wide receiver. And on one of the plays, they ended up doing, like, a little, I don't remember what the play was. Maybe a little screen pass or something like that. And, um something to his side but for whatever reason he had to come out and block and he had a nice block on this one kid and um he they ended up like the kid I think ended up with the first down but they ended up calling it back I think because of holding or something like that but maybe like pop this kid and I think I got it but uh yeah because like I said we were having kids just like they were getting hurt and on top of that too we had like I know two kids were hurt from previous weeks and you know one kid Matthew I said Matthew said, I think's out because of grades, and, um, I'm trying to think. One kid, I think I told you guys, was pretty much out for the rest of the season. We were pretty sure of that. And then two kids that, I'm not sure, um, that were out as well. So, um, but one Matthew, no, 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 maybe it's actually three. I think three kids are out now, at least that I can think of. But yeah, anyways, guys, lots of kids have been getting hurt. Uh, but like Matthew said, two of those kids, I think he said for sure, should be back for this Friday's game because they just senior night is their last home game so um yeah they've got that and then uh tomorrow me and jack are not going to football practice my dad has got work tomorrow he has to work so our football practice is supposed to be in the morning it's just like a walkthrough or whatever so we're not going actually because matthew is going to play quarterback in the jv game tomorrow guys so i'm going to record for you guys for that um, it's also, I think, supposed to rain a little bit tomorrow. Dad wants to see footage. It's kind of funny, though, because Matthew was like, well, if they hadn't asked me to play quarterback and they hadn't asked me, you know, and if it hadn't been at home, he's like, I would have said no. And I was like, Matthew had a really good game today, too. He had, like, they announced his name, I think, at least four times, maybe more. And he was in on probably about ten tackles. Like, he had at least four solo tackles. There was two, I know for sure, that he ended up tackling um, the kids with I know it was one of the linebackers man these really good friends um that I know they were calling his name but he was in on the, those two and then I'm sure there was like another like handful of four or so that he was in on as well that they just didn't catch his name or whatever and he ended up two tackling one kid um that they ended up missing an extra point on like it was like he had a really good game and and then two even playing like uh, uh offense but they asked him they were like do you want to play quarterback tomorrow and he was like you know if they had asked me to play any other position I would have probably said no he's like but since it was quarterback I decided sure why not so he's like it's a JV game JV games don't matter it's mainly just for the kids that don't play a lot in the varsity game or for the kids that um are like mainly well we don't have a sophomore team so it's mainly like sophomores juniors kind of stuff like that but since they don't have any quarterback really for tomorrow they asked Matthew if he wanted to play so like I said we're gonna go uh, to that tomorrow and since it's at the same time as our walkthrough that's why we're not because we would end up missing probably like half the game or over half the game if we went to our walkthrough so and since my dad won't be here um, he w wanted me to go and record for that so yeah we're we're already telling them like we're not gonna be there at the walkthrough and on top of that guys I, I right now I'm actually okay but I have been coughing like crazy and I feel like I slowly have been losing my voice throughout the whole day today. Actually, when we were at the football game, I know stopped running, which was really nice. <laughs> um, but, and I feel like it was actually from the cool air, but um, once I got home, like, I, I now I'm coughing all the time too, but we did go and we stopped and got Oberweiss because it was on the way home, guys. I don't know what it is about Oberweiss ice cream. Whenever I have Oberweiss ice cream, I never end up having an upset stomach afterwards. Honestly, I tell you guys all the time, I'm like, I can't do dairy. Like, it always makes my stomach hurt like crazy. You know, Baskin Robbins or having Dairy Queen or, you know, whatever. I, I, you know, McDonald's even, you know, or like soft serve ice cream, whatever it is. Or even just like regular ice cream from like, you know, Edie's or Briar's ice cream, whatever that you can buy at the store. Every single time I end up having ice cream, it hurts my stomach like crazy. This is the second time now, second time guys, that I have had Oberweiss in the last like year or so that has not bothered my stomach at all. Like I'm like, it almost tastes like it's dairy free, but it's not dairy free. So I have no clue what it is. I don't know if they use like less sugar or if it's just because it's like that rich 
whole milk like it's like good quality like ice cream that just tastes so creamy and it never makes my stomach hurt which is like the best thing in the world honestly because sometimes i'll even end up having like coconut milk ice cream and stuff like that and maybe it's just the sugar too the sugar like and the dairy sometimes or what it is but even sometimes too like my stomach will get a little irritated but again second time i've had ice cream which i got the uh espresso caramel chip i think it is oh my gosh so good second time i've had it now and the first time i only had one scoop today i had two scoops no upset stomach no nothing guys i am like Oh my gosh, so Oberweiss is the only ice cream I've realized I can eat. With the exception of if it's like a vegan ice cream or a dairy-free ice cream. I can't have it, but it just doesn't have that creamy, like, soft-serve texture. I feel like more like Oberweiss has. So I am, like, so thankful, guys, that I... Second time I tested it out now, and it doesn't upset my stomach. So I just wish there was one closer because, like, they're kind of... It's not really close, though. But, yeah, anyways, there was one on the way home, so we stopped and got some for Matthew, too. But, um, yeah, anyways, though, guys, I'm going to start coughing again because I can tell my throat's already, my throat isn't hurting so much. It's just now I'm more congested, and I feel like I'm coughing, too, because there's, like, stuff in my throat, my, my chest more. So, and my back and, like, my joints have been hurting, too, and I feel like, too, because I was sitting, I was trying, okay, it was downpouring, guys, at the football game, and I was trying to sit, like, really awkwardly with the umbrella to, like, hold it because it kept, like, the wind was like blowing at me so I'm trying to like sit like this with the umbrella like in my face and it was like it was really awkward and I was like hunched over so like my back's hurting and I feel like it's hurting more too because I'm sick and like have achy you know achy joints and everything like that um so yeah I'm gonna take a nice warm shower which I couldn't take right away because Matthew came home and took one um but anyways though guys yeah tomorrow should be a good fun footage it's kind of funny too because Matthew, when he first started playing football back in his flag football days and even 70s and 80s, so his first two years of tackle, um, he played quarterback. And so it's kind of cute because he's come like full circle now. This is, you know, unless he decides to play football in college, which he's kind of really isn't thinking he, I don't know if he doesn't want to or he doesn't think he's going to be good enough or whatever it is, but um, for whatever reason, he's like, you know, this might be my last year of football, and it's kind of, kind of cute that he does get a play quarterback, like, kind of one last time, I feel like, um, which is, again, kind of, like, I don't know, it's bittersweet, because I'm, like, super excited to go see him, but then at the same time, too, I'm like, I just hope he doesn't get hurt, <laughs> and then also, too, though, because, you know, it'll be his last time, like, you know, obviously, and I never really thought about it before either, like, you know, that he was never going to play quarterback again, but I'm like, this really will probably be the last time, because, like, you know, in college, once he picks it, he picks it, and, you know, it's done, kind of like high school, too, but since it's a JV game, it doesn't matter, it doesn't count for anything, you know, if they win, they win, if they don't, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so Matthew's like, I have no clue what any of the play calls are. He's like, I don't know. Like, he's like, I don't know what my reads are. Cause they kind of do like a little read thing. Um, and so he's like, I think I'm supposed to read this guy. And I'm like, I'm trying to help him too. Cause it's the same thing that, uh, our, our varsity team runs at Jack's level because we're getting, preparing them for the high school. So I was like trying to help him a little bit too, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting tomorrow. Um. But yeah, it's kind of sad my dad doesn't get to be there because he has to work. So anyways, though, guys, I've rambled on long enough. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today, so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.